Hey, so how about turning in creating a whole DIY virtual homeschool class school? Virtual school? Virtual homeschool class? Okay, so here's the thing. I have been working on this on a lot of different ways and since this summer. So I had a friend, Erin, I'm sitting there chit-chatting and she's telling me about Google Classroom. And in fact, I don't know if you're aware, so let's just like step back. So let's say number one. This is, first off, hey, it's first thing in the morning. Love you guys. Um, my son wanted a 10 minute park break before going to school, so I'm making you a video. This is real life squeezing it in with six kids. So here you go. Um, number one is I like the idea of virtual school. I like the idea of being able to, but I don't want to kind of plug into a system. I kind of want it to be my own thing. And I didn't even know that there was a capability of doing a DIY. So many, 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 many years ago, I kind of created a DIY. Um, it, we started something, it was called like the virtual, what was it called? Virtual work boxes or something like that. I think that like little blog with a few things is still up. Um, and what I was doing was I was creating a private blog that I was taking the contents of Easy Peasy and putting it into a blog that only my children had access to. And then that way it had their passwords in there and it was all private, nobody could get to it. And that was kind of like my first stages of kind of creating something like a virtual school for my kids. And I kind of, it still got over complicated. There's that video that I talk about virtual, um, what I like Easy Peasy, but I have a hard time dealing with the administration of it easy peasy and the delivery and it overwhelms my kids the delivery so I did that for a while to try and get it under control and I think it was um EP virtual work boxes I think was the site the um blog dot blog um but I mean it's old never updated it it's just a few ideas I dropped <laughs> so then um we have been playing with google Chrome, Chromebooks, Google Chromebooks, and I've kind of played a little bit with Google's suites, the whole nine yards, and there's a lot of things that Google does, and let me just tell you, it has been a game changer in our house, in our homeschool, so on Google with your Gmail account, you have access to, you know, essentially a hard drive memory um, where you can leave documents. You have a word processing, essentially like Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, but it's not Microsoft, it's Google's version. And it's not as high tech or high end as the Microsoft one, but it does the job. And so, you know, you have presentations, you have slide, it's called slides, um, documents. It even has draw on there. It has a lot of different tools it's like the tools are incredible completely accessible from um, your Google from just Gmail go to Google and you're logged in with your Gmail there's all these things and it makes it really nice to share um, and you can give people access to just view your files you can give people access to leave comments to edit the whole nine yards so I actually use that because we're kind of throwing together like a little meetup um, a junk drawer meetup. I'm using the junk drawer engineering book and I'm like, y'all get your garbage. And I just kind of gave like a little synopsis of what we're doing in a list of what you needed and like, Hey, you know, use common sense and you know, you know, your kids, so if your kid can't handle a hot glue gun, you need to handle a hot glue gun. I'm not babysitting. I don't babysit other people's kids because six kids. Yeah. I totally notice when you drop your kid off, totally notice. So, um, side point, but I was able to create it all in Google Drive, uh, Google Documents, save it on my Google Drive, and then give people the ability to view it and print it if they needed to print it. So just love it. There's a thing called Google Classroom. So here's the thing, Google Classroom has been around for a long, long time. And with Google Classroom, you, it was only <laughs> allowed for teachers. It was just allowed for teachers. You had to be set up through a school. A school had to set up an account through Google. It was free, but it had to be an institution. So homeschoolers, no. Well, sometime this year, I don't know when it happened, they opened it up 
for anybody. It's open source, I guess it is open source. Yeah, coffee mug in the car. So it's open source and now anybody can have access to it and create a classroom. So this is not a tutorial how to do it. Um, I'm going to create some tutorials. I'm hoping next week will be open for me to do it. And <laughs> they are two boys at the park. My two boys are crazy. Anyways, um, but you can go in there and create a class. You can create assignments. You can grade the assignments. You can give access to who's in it. This could be used as a co-op. It is incredible. The power and the options are huge. So next week when I do one, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna show you how to like do a mock one and I'll give you access that you can actually go in and become a student in there and I'm just you know I don't know what I'm gonna make in there. I think I'm just gonna pull some easy peasy stuff off of it just to be really quick and show you what I'm how I'm doing this. But you could do it with anything. And what I like is it all of a sudden gives me the power <laughs> to really fine tune without my kids going, oh, you added something different. Because my kids do that. I don't know about yours. My kids are like, the curriculum says I have to do this. I'm done. See you later. And I'm just like, no, 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 no. Um, the really cool part that I'm loving, well, let me back up. Before, you know, I've had a hard time implementing Google uh, FPLs out again. I feel like they're still putting up lines. They're redoing all the electrical lines from the hurricane. Um, we, before I implemented Google Classroom, because <laughs> I've been experimenting all summer, we actually did use power slides, the slides. And I use it for my younger one because it's easier for my seven year old. <coughs> I use the Google Slides. And for my daughter, each slide is a day. And I put um, what I need her to do. And I put links and I put descriptions and she get to, does it. And I can link documents in there. And then she does it as a view or she actually edits it. And I'll show you that when I do. I can do another one. Like It was kind of like our virtual homeschool journal, planner, whatever for her. And I use Google Slides like for my, my seven-year-old. I actually have been taking on the first slide I created a slide with a picture of her and I put icons like I just literally did a Google search image for the things we use like extra math reading eggs explode the code um, you know some other games I found and I linked them there with the links and then she can go there and link and click on it and because it's view only at first I didn't do view only and every time I went in there everything was messed up everything was messed up. so it's view only she can go there and click and then dealing with some like being kind of busy and needing to give her um, work that's not you know just kind of like some practice stuff and giving her tasks to do <laughs> I've been going over <laughs> to easy peasy and I'll pull some like little games or projects they have off easy peasy and I dump them into a slide so it's like Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and I'll be like do your BJU math do your extra math do you know and I put links to things that need links in there and I can even put in like a tiny little video that tells her what to do and I can embed it and it's amazing um, and it's been really really nice so I've been wanting to share this with you for a while but I've had a hard time coming through and I'm not gonna lie um, I feel a little bit late to the game but if you're doing easy peasy or you're part of the easy peasy groups, if you go to, I think it's called extra supplements, um, extra supplements or something, easy peasy on Facebook, there is a woman, there is a mom that has been doing the most amazing tutorials on using Google Classroom. The next thing is Google for Education is a YouTube channel. You want to follow them. There, there's a lot. There's more information there than you need, but there's so many things. Um, there's Facebook groups for um, Google Classroom teachers. There's um, there's a lot of Google Classroom things. And if you start looking into going paperless, not that you have to, but if you start going into paperless, there's so many resources. And on top of it, if you go teacher 
Teachers Pay Teachers shopping place, there are programs you can get that create interactive slides that you can then embed using Google. I mean, the Google Classroom is insane and you can totally DIY it and pull in all these different pieces to use it in your homeschool and you can DIY a virtual homeschool class and you can use it just for one kid you can do it for your whole family you can do it for a co-op you could do it to tutor the the opportunities are endless you've got to go check it out my goal was not to go completely paperless but one of my goals has really been to bring technology home I've told you about this like in our 4-H and really get my kids <coughs> kind of office ready, but not necessarily to put them in an office, but to have them office ready and have them ready for college and being doing things online and being prepared to create documents. One of the really cool parts about Google, the Google Suites, Google Docs, Google Slides, is there's a tool in there that does voice to text. So my son, who is handwriting delayed, find motor skills delayed, you know, spelling delayed, but comprehension and thinking is not delayed, can go in there and literally speak what he wants written, dictate what he wants written. And then it's the skill of going back and editing it. So he's actually editing his own work, which is even more fantastic. Um, and it's helped out a lot. And the nice part is I can go see what's done. Um, using Google Classroom gives the option to create documents and submit them. And so it's been really neat where usually <coughs> the idea of getting up and going through notebooks at like nine o'clock at night, 9.30, when I really want to be sleeping is almost impossible. I'm trying to grab my coffee. Um, it's almost just like an impossible feat. Well, my, she's fixing to be 13 on Sunday. <laughs> I'm gonna have a teenager. Anyways, my soon to be teenager is, um, creating all her documents and submitting it. So now my husband and I can lay in bed on my phone, on my phone. I can go into Google Classroom. I can see what she submitted. I can read it. My husband and I have been reading her stuff. And all of a sudden out of nowhere, it's like, where did we get this writer from? She writes amazing. I just Instagram pictured. She woke up. She goes, I got a story in my head. I got to get it out. Okay, go ahead. And she's typing it in Google Doc. And she's choosing to type it. She doesn't want to read it off. She's choosing to type it. Or my son chooses to read it. And so, um, really kind of, I mean, really, really awesome. And the really neat part I didn't realize, and I'm still learning Google Classroom, is I can grade it. And I can just mark it, respond. Um, it has been amazing. So, I just can't even begin to tell you enough. I know there's other programs, um that do similar things like there's a homeschool planner app and there's um there's a homeschool panda which is a planner you know that you can put on any device <laughs> but the power that's coming from google is so amazing and there's so many different things and it was really neat like my daughter did i mean i'm not even teaching her some stuff I'm, there's a lot of stuff i'm just like not even having to teach her she submitted a Google drawing. I've yet to introduce her to Google drawings. And what's amazing is she went in there and she found a background image. She put it in. She created a scroll and she did her definitions on this scroll and made it very creative. And I was like, wow. And we didn't have to get the glue and the stuff out like that. Um, it's just really simply amazing. <laughs> My, um, nine-year-old is starting to do more and using that the the Google classroom interface for her projects and her lessons and stuff for I can give her instruction and I'm a little bit debating I really want her to continue working on her handwriting but at the same time it's so easy to check her work if she does it via document so I'm really kind of torn there so anyways I definitely want you to go check that out I want you to check out all the resources I told you about and really start investigating because the power in creating your own virtual school is amazing. And the really neat part is 
instead of having to have a separate computer class or technology book or whatever, you are in the trenches of technology, so you're gonna learn it. And your kids are gonna get those skills and they're gonna be much more ready and much more just at ease. So when it comes to like, if you put them in a virtual class, via the vir public virtual school system to take a course in that like in Florida we do Spanish that way they're already at ease at the computer interface learning um, and lessons and assignments if you're doing college classes I mean it's just I feel like it really gives an edge and then as parents we're really getting you know cutting on there and to be honest you just need the technology and I'm going to tell you a Chromebook goes far and it's nice because the kids aren't downloading stuff they can't download on a Chromebook so you're not getting viruses and weird stuff like that and if the, they can enter you know they can do documents <laughs> sorry they can do documents and they can do these projects and they have a place to store it now if you exceed but I'm gonna tell you I don't even know how you can exceed the cloud storage space because I you get 15 gigabytes for free for years, I have been dumping stuff on Google Chrome, and I do so much on there, I'm only at five. Five. And I mean, that's videos and photos and everything. So, it's been absolutely amazing. Now, your kids do need to have their own Gmail account, but, I mean, I manage those. I manage, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how many Gmail accounts I have. I have a ton of Gmail accounts. All right. I'm going to talk to you later. I hope this has, like, sparked your interest. <coughs> drink your coffee I'm gonna get this uploaded hopefully have this to you I probably will have zero links in the bottom but eventually I might will but tell me what you think have I striked your curiosity love y'all see you later